All right, hey guys, I am gonna to talk to you today about the uh, F-Stop Navin uh, camera pouch. Uh, this is their kind of like hip belt accessory slash uh, shoulder sling. Um, and honestly, I really wanted this to be the perfect, uh, perfect little camera carrying case, uh, but there's a good, glaring glaring issue with it which we'll get into in a moment so a little bit about the way that i shoot is i'm generally always shooting in a wilderness environment i'm always packing a bunch of camera gear in um now until recently none of my cameras um had a Peak Designs capture clip, and I've actually moved over to that system now, um, but really just for my main camera. So my secondary camera, uh, I need to access from something like this, um, just on my hip. And so now my secondary camera is the Panasonic Lumix GH6, and I'm keeping this uh, Lumix 45 to 150 lens on it. Um, so this actually does fit very well into this pouch. And so does my new primary camera, uh, the S5 2X with the large condor blue cage on it. So yeah, I mean that fits in there no problem whatsoever. So that part is really great. Um, one thing I do really like about this is that you've got this outside zippered pocket. And I generally wind up putting like a multi-tool in there um, and then my ND filters. So one thing that I'll mention also is that I believe they market this as being waterproof. And I mean, you can see it, it's, mine is pretty dirty. I've, I brought it um, on a canoe trip in Canyonlands National Park and it certainly got quite, uh, quite dirty. Um, I think it was waterproof, it felt, felt pretty good but I don't know about the zippers they don't appear to be like a YKK aqua guard type of thing I don't see really any weatherproofing um, on the zipper itself it just looks like a standard sewn-in zipper um, so I'm not sure about that um, okay one other cool thing here is this is this pouch is extendable so like if you've got a, I would say, you know, the, the most common is like a 24 to 70, that kind of lens, um, that's gonna fit no problem. But the way that this works is so it's like a, it's a, it's a roll closure. So you can fold it up and then there are little sh uh, hooks and straps and you just go ahead and uh, hook it on and then you can tighten it up and cinch it down and that reduces the overall form factor quite a bit. Now on the sides, you've got the nice metal buckles, which are, you know, you can clip, clip a shoulder strap to it. You can also clip this just like onto your front where it kind of like has a chest harness. Um, I don't do that. The real thing that I wanna talk about here is the way that the closure works, I don't, I don't understand why um, they went with this route. Um, so I have also the Shimoda Designs top loader. I also have one from Think Tank, um, but the Shimoda one has a big, big cutout right here where you would slide uh, the holster like through the hip belt on your backpack. Um, that has worked like very well. It ha it didn't, it actually didn't work on my F-Stop uh, Shin 80 liter pack, which like I'm not surprised it's got a huge hip belt, but like for my typical backpacking packs, which is how I would use it, um, it slides right in and then it's super secure and I really like it. The Think Tank one is kind of dumb because it, uh, it's just the opening is too uh, narrow to accept like an actual hip belt. So it's a nice case, but it just doesn't work. But this one, they've got this like dual Velcro type of system here. So you undo that and then you've got, you've got this. 
So you've got two big straps that come down and there's Velcro on either side. And then there's also this like Molly webbing in here. Um, yeah, and so the way that it'll work is that you've got these two guys, right? And then they'll fold down over your hip belt. Um, and now there's also this like molly webbing in here. So you could potentially, if you had the right hip belt, like push that through the molly webbing um, and like a strap on your hip belt. If you have that option, that would provide some good security. But for most backpacks, there is a uh, hip belt pocket right there and there's not webbing so you couldn't do that but so then they fold down they secure like that on the velcro there and then this flap comes up and that's how that secures and just that's not secure i mean it it just isn't um because it's just velcro and it's not even like really strong velcro and I just don't have the confidence that um, this could get like snagged on something and I would like, you know, like maybe like trip or something and that this isn't gonna come undone. And so what I've done is uh, there's some pieces of webbing up here at the top and I have actually taken to just running a carabiner through this and then clipping it onto um, like a side strap on my backpack just so that it can't actually fall off of my pack. Um, other than that, it has worked really well and I, I do like using it and I do use it. I just wish that this interface worked better or even if it worked, if it was like made specifically to work with the F-stop packs, but it doesn't seem like it like it does on my f-stop shin um like i can't fold both of these over the whole hip belt because the hip belt is so wide on the luca 37 liter pack again there's just a hip belt pocket there so these just don't work great if they work great i'd give this like a 10 out of 10 but because it it doesn't um, attached to your hip belt nicely. Like I'm gonna give it maybe a seven out of 10 and I don't even do ratings, <laughs> I guess, but um, I'm gonna rate this a seven out of 10, but. And you might have trouble fitting, like a, if you have a, still have like a DSLR, like my wife's D850 is not gonna fit in here, but GH6 and the S5 Mark II do fit in there. And, uh, yeah, when it's in there, it's nice. I mean, there's a decent amount of padding. I mean, that's not really what I'm concerned about. Um, yeah, just just for the love of God, I want a better way to carry multiple cameras and have instant access to it. Um, you know, like I, with all, all, a lot of these camera backpacks, it's great that they are designed to, uh, and they do hold camera gear and extra lenses like really, really well. But for a lot of the way that I shoot, um, and like specifically my wife, who is just a wildlife photographer, like she has both of her cameras on her at all times. And when I'm doing, you know, videography with her and I'm filming wild animals, like I want to just be able to have both my cameras ready to go like as quick as possible. Um, and so carrying a secondary camera in, you know, on my hip is really important because if I see like a bear out in the woods, I'm not gonna say, oh cool, here, let me just take off my backpack, open the back panel, you know, grab my, get, grab my other camera out and start shooting. No, I need to have all my equipment accessible right away um, in case the moment presents itself. But. So that's uh, my little spiel about the F-Stop Navin uh, hip belt uh, camera holder. Um, yeah, so if this was informative, please like and subscribe and stay tuned for more videos.